introducing R20, the latest software release from Disguise. In this video, I'm going to show you what is possible with this release and how to find out everything you need to know to get the most out of the Disguise platform running on R20. Localization. Welcome to a new world of collaboration with R20. Our latest software release gives you the ability to work globally in six new languages. Productions nowadays are comprehensive and of a global nature. It is difficult to solve complex problems and it can be tricky to get the right support at all stages of a project in the local language. R20 allows you to work in local languages and on complex productions anywhere around the world with certainty. With R20 you can easily control which language you work in including Spanish, Simplified Chinese, French, Japanese, German and Korean. R20 downloads will default into these system languages. You can change the language easily using the language switcher. You can also learn or use Disguise Designer in your local language. Designer software, fundamental training and the user guide is also available in the six new languages. R20 also introduced several new workflows for any production. The first new workflow we will explore is the spatial calibration workflow for AR objects. Designed to accelerate spatial calibration for virtual objects without the need to calibrate an MR set with LED walls. And based on the quick align workflow used in the Omnical workflow, you can calibrate AR objects easily and with precision. XR Calibration API The release of R20 also brings with it a new API-based XR Calibration workflow designed so that one person can complete the entire XR Calibration process remotely using an interface such as a customised web interface or handheld tablet. Once your disguised project is configured correctly for XR you are easily able to execute XR Calibrations on your own reducing the number of people needed to complete the spatial calibration process. Easily and remotely run observations, make refinements as you go along and use the toggling feature for easy comparison and testing. Other exciting new features in R20 include new and improved ways to add effects. It is now possible to add effects and image treatments even more easily to your timeline or even live video inputs using these new workflows. First, keyframe toggles. With keyframe toggles, you can clean up your sequencing on the timeline by simply toggling the timeline keyframes on and off. Second, layer stacks. With the new time independent layer stack, you can conveniently manage layers of treatments in the live video input. Add input transforms, video overlays, masking or stylistic effects and add color effect or color keyer. Once done, you can stack, compose and order your effect layers as well. One more thing, there's a new feature designed to help you use less bandwidth. It's called Scale Factor. Scale Factor is platform agnostic and allows you to control your network bandwidth when working with render engines. Render a fraction of your content while still assuring high resolution content. These are just some of the exciting new features of R20 waiting to be explored. We know that there is a lot to learn and take in with these new workflows and we're here to support you. How do you get started? Get yourself into a training system by going to training.disguise.one. Hit the register button and you'll be registered for the fundamental training straight away.
If you need help with your training in any way, contact us at training at disguise.one. The next step is you should join our community platform. In there you will find hundreds of users like you. It's a great place to ask questions or get ideas and inspiration for your projects. Join up at community.skies.one. And lastly, keep in touch with us and ask for help if you need it. Our support team are on hand night and day to answer your questions and solve your problems for you. Reach out to them at support at disguise.one. We hope you enjoy getting to know these new powerful features in Disguise R20.